Hey, welcome back nerds. I hope you've had a good week so far. So with the current meta, I've spoken to a few people and an interesting question came up. Do you really need high mastery rank weapons to finish or enjoy Warframe? With the requirements getting higher and resources needed gaining some weird combination of having to farm on multiple planets, I really like this question. But first, if you're new here, my name is Swag and I make random videos on Warframe. Should you like the video, do leave a like and consider subscribing for more guides, builds and discussion videos on Warframe. So out I went, using a starter frame like Excalibur and using weapons restricted to mastery rank 5 until a maximum of mastery rank 8. This is about the starter level for a lot of players and also the mastery rank where a lot of players are stuck for a little while. With the anniversary event not too long ago, the weapon choices weren't super hard to make. Now the builds won't really be for new players, simply because from mastery rank 5 on you should be able to get all these mods without having to farm for them too long. Unless you were super unlucky. So let's have a look. For the primary weapon I went with the Dread. Now there is some RNG attached to this weapon, however it shouldn't take too long to get this incredible bow from killing the stalker a few times. The only quote unquote hard to get resource here are the Morphics. These can be found on the exterminate mission Hellas on Mars quite often though, so they shouldn't give you too much trouble. And here's the build I used. The secondary weapon also wasn't too hard to choose. I used the Dex Furious because they were easy to get during the anniversary event and they are quite the powerhouse. In hindsight, I would probably use the Atomos instead though, simply because it fits the current meta of priming your opponents more. That said, the Dex Furious with an old build of mine held its own pretty much the whole time and only started to fall off after level 150. And of course, you get a build. The melee weapon here is variable, but again, since the anniversary event wasn't too long ago, I went with the Dex Dakra. Sadly, the twin croaker are MR10, so they were out of reach, but would I do this again? I'd definitely go for one of my favorite weapons, the Hate. I just didn't want to introduce another RNG element, especially since the Hate seems to be a little more rare than the Dread Drop. And here's the final build. I do want to say that these builds are not perfect, they are far from optimal, but that's kind of the thing, that's the theme of this video. It's you don't need optimal builds to be able to enjoy some of the harder content. But with that said, the Dex Dakra are incredibly powerful and will definitely get you through the whole game without any issue at all. Being a dual sword weapon choice though, there might be more optional choices out there, specifically the Pennant, the Tatsu, or the Dragon Nikana might suit your playstyle better or might be more fun overall. I personally go for the Dragon Ikana simply because, you know, katanas, dude. Yo! Now let's just see how all of these weapons do against level 150 heavy gunners before we move on. As you can see, the only real issue is the time it takes to kill the enemy. However, this is purely based on weapons and no other abilities were used. You could easily make this a lot quicker with abilities, and if you don't believe me, I'll show you. With the previously mentioned setup, I went into arbitrations, just to prove a point. The point being that, no, you don't need high MR weapons to have fun in the game or to enjoy the harder content. Objectively speaking, arbitrations and the steel path are the supposed late game of Warframe, meaning that it implies you would need to have the best setup 
or something close to it to be able to enjoy it and fight enemies that are a lot tougher than the usual plebs you fight against. However, that isn't really the case. With some janky mods put on that work quite well together, you can easily jump into arbitrations and get all the loot you want to get. Now with the latest rise of X weapon versus level 9999 madness, I thought it would be a good idea to remember everyone that you don't need specific setups just to enjoy harder content. Of course, these weapons alone won't get to that high level, but realistically speaking, maybe 0.1% of Warframe players even go that far. So what's the use? Also, this isn't meant to take away from the level cap running setup videos either, but I noticed that lately a lot of players simply copy those builds without understanding them fully, knowing why it works and not giving it a second thought. I personally find it important to know why a certain mod is in a setup when it comes to very specific builds, because it enables the player to use different approaches to the same setup in order to fit their playstyle. So yeah, go out there, build whatever you want, and enjoy whatever content you like playing. Never let anyone else dictate what you should play, but listen to them when they have suggestions on what you could play. I think that adds everything up. If you liked the video, do leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Discussion, build videos, ban guides every Thursday, and random videos in between. Next week we'll be looking at everything you need to know about operators, which is going to be pretty dope. Stay safe out there, Tenno. Later.